Hello, hello, and welcome to Target 7A, where we're going to look at translations as functions. One of the first words we've got to learn in geometry is isometry. So isometry is a rigid motion transformation that preserves size and shape. That means when we move or uh, reflect an image, it stays exactly the same. So let's look at number one and see which of these images has isometry. Okay. So letter A, so I see two triangles, and let's count the height of the triangle. All right, that looks like it's a height of four, and same with this one, base of two, base of two. So I say yes, and asymmetry. Letter B, are these images an isometry? This is four, that's two, that's four, that's two. Yes, and isometry. Now letter C. Take a look at these two triangles. The green one is definitely smaller than the purple one. Because of that, no, not an isometry. Lastly, letter D. There's three squares on top, one on the bottom. Looks like it's the same shape. Okay. Next, we have this vocabulary image, pre image, prime, and translation. Now, a pre image is the original image, the image we start with. Image is the new image. Prime is the apostrophe that we use to denote an image. So, for example, in this definition, our original is triangle ABC and our image is triangle a prime b prime c prime so each time you see an apostrophe you pronounce that as prime lastly let's define translation as a function a function t which takes as its input a set of pre-image points and outputs a set of image points meaning it takes in the original and gives out the new one a pre-image points are translated a distance a b in the direction of a b that, I think, will be best understood when I show you what that is. So let's look at number two. Number two has a T with an MA prime on the subscript, and it says octagon. Let's translate that. This means move the octo octagon the distance of MA prime in the direction of MA prime. This is what that looks like. Here we have MA prime. Now the order of, of the letters matters a lot in geometry. So we start at M and we go towards A prime. And that looks like we went to the right. We're going to draw that same segment in that same direction starting at point P. Now I have the magic of computers so I get to do that. So I move, <clears throat> I move, I am signifying with this blue arrow that the distance MA prime is being the same distance from P. So right here we have the new point. This is P prime. And then we're going to do our best to draw an octagon of the same size. Do your best. Obviously I'm not an artist, so if it's close enough, then it's close enough. Let's look at number three. Here we have T, ML prime, trapezoid. This move means move trapezoid the distance of ML prime in the direction of ML prime. So let's take a look at ML prime. We go from M, from M to L prime, and it looks like we're going up and to the right, so kind of diagonally. I'm going to use that same distance. At least I'm trying to use that same distance. Come on, buddy. There we go. And I'm going to apply it to point P. I'm just going to redraw it. All right, so those two blue areas are, are the lines. Wow can't speak today, but that's okay. Those two blue lines are the same distance, ML prime. 
So at the end of this blue line, I'm going to write a point P prime because that's our new image. And then I'm going to do my best to draw a trapezoid. All right, let's continue. Number four, T B A circle. This means tra or move circle the distance of B A. And again, this really does matter the order of those letters and the direction of B A. First, let's draw BA. We start at B, we go towards A. That looks like I'm going to the left. I'm going to use that same distance. Come on, computer. All right, well, computer's not cooperating. I'm going to draw a line with the same distance. The end of my line will be P prime. And then you draw your the best circle you can. <laughs> oh dear, I tried my best. So as you can see, we went from P to P prime with the same distance that we had from B to A. And it was important that we knew to start at B and go towards A so that we knew we were moving from the right to the left. Next we have a uh, T M A prime hexagon. This means move hexagon the distance of MA prime in uh, the direction of MA prime. All right, let's find MA prime. We start at M, we go towards A prime. That looks like we're going to the right. Let's see if computer will cooperate with me. Nope, I guess I'm drawing my own. I'm going to draw that same segment over here draw a little dot here, that's P prime, and then I'm going to do my best in drawing a hexagon. And lastly, we have number six. Let's complete this tra translation. We have TJK of rhombus. So move rhombus the distance of JK in the and direction of JK. All right, let's find the direction of JK. From J to K, it looks like I'm going diagonally downwards. Let's redraw that same segment. Beautiful. Put a new dot here, make that P prime, and then we're going to do our best in drawing a rhombus. All right, I hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions, please make sure to ask myself or your teacher. All right. Have a wonderful rest of whatever day it is for you. Bye.